Hello and welcome to our new video. Today we have a special treat for those who have a love for the past and a fascination with the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Join us as we delve into the latest discoveries surrounding Cleopatra's tomb, unlocking the secrets of this legendary queen and exploring the fascinating artifacts that have been unearthed. This is a journey that is sure to captivate and inspire, so sit back, relax, and let's embark on an adventure through time. Cleopatra was a famous queen who lived a very long time ago in ancient Egypt. She was born in 69 BCE and became queen when she was only 18 years old. Cleopatra was very smart and powerful, and she ruled Egypt for many years. She spoke many languages and was well-educated, which helped her to make her country strong and successful. Cleopatra is most famous for her relationship with a man named Mark Antony. Mark Antony was a powerful leader from Rome who fell in love with Cleopatra when he visited Egypt. They had a very passionate romance and had children together. However, their relationship was very controversial because Mark Antony was already married to another woman. In the end, Mark Antony and Cleopatra's armies were defeated in a big war with Rome. Mark Antony died by suicide and Cleopatra was captured by the Romans. Some say she committed suicide by allowing a poisonous snake to bite her, while others believe she was murdered. Cleopatra's death marked the end of the ancient Egyptian empire. However, her legacy continues to live on today. She is remembered as a powerful and influential woman who fought for her country and her people, and her story continues to inspire people all over the world. Archaeologist Kathleen Martinez has devoted her life to uncovering the mysteries of ancient Egypt, and her most exciting mission to date has been the search for Cleopatra's tomb. For years, rumors and legends had circulated about the elusive queen's final resting place, but no one had been able to locate it for sure. Kathleen Martinez was determined to change that. She began her quest in 2005, and since then she has made many incredible discoveries that have shed new light on the life and legacy of Cleopatra. Using the latest technology and her own intuition, she has been able to identify and excavate several sites that may hold clues to the queen's tomb. One of the most exciting discoveries came in 2010 when Kathleen and her team unearthed a temple dedicated to the god Osiris. Inside the temple, they found a tunnel that led deep into the earth. This was a significant discovery because ancient Egyptians believed that Osiris was the god of the afterlife and that the underworld was located underground. Kathleen believes that this tunnel may lead to Cleopatra's tomb and she is currently working to excavate it further. She has also found evidence of a possible burial chamber and she has uncovered many artifacts that may have belonged to Cleopatra herself. Excavators have discovered a tunnel measuring 6.5 feet tall and 4,300 feet long. Under the Tapasiris Magna Temple, west of the ancient city of Alexandria, which they have suggested could lead to the tomb of Queen Cleopatra. Evidence that this is really the case remains to be seen, but such a discovery would be a major find, with the potential to rewrite what we know about Egypt's most famous queen. According to the ancient Greek writer Plutarch, who wrote a biography of Cleopatra's husband, the Roman general Mark Antony, and is responsible for the lengthiest and most detailed account of the last days of Cleopatra's reign, both Antony and Cleopatra were buried inside Cleopatra's mausoleum. According to Plutarch, on the day that Augustus and his Roman forces invaded Egypt and captured Alexandria, Antony fell on his sword, died in Cleopatra's arms, and was then interred in the mausoleum. Two weeks later, Cleopatra went to the mausoleum to make offerings and pour libations, and took her own life in a way that is still unknown. A popular misconception is that she was bitten by an asp. She too was then interred in the mausoleum. In the days that followed, Antony's son Marcus Antonius Antilus and Cleopatra's son Ptolemy and XV Caesar, also known as Caesarian Little Caesar, were both murdered by Roman forces, and the two young men may likewise have been interred there. If the mausoleum of Cleopatra has not already vanished beneath the waves of the Mediterranean along with most of the Hellenistic city of Alexandria, and is one day found, it would be an almost unprecedented archaeological discovery. While the tombs of many famous historical rulers are still standing, the mausoleum of Augustus, Antony, and Cleopatra's mortal enemy in Rome is one example. Their contents have often been looted and lost centuries ago. One notable exception is the tomb of Philip of Macedon, the father of Alexander the Great, uncovered at Virginia in the late 1970s. The tomb was found intact, and this has enabled decades of scientific investigation into its contents, advancing our knowledge of members of the Macedonian royal family and their court. The same would be true if Cleopatra's tomb were discovered and found to be intact. The amount of new information Egyptologists, classicists, ancient historians, and archaeologists could glean from its contents would be immense. For the most part, 
Our knowledge of Cleopatra and her reign comes from ancient Greek and Roman literary sources written after her death and inherently hostile to the Egyptian queen. We do not have much evidence revealing the Egyptian perspective on Cleopatra, but what we do have, such as honorific reliefs on the temples that she built and votives dedicated by her subjects, gives us a very different view of her. To date, no other Ptolemaic ruler's tomb has been found. They were reportedly all situated in the palace quarter of Alexandria and are believed to be under the sea with the rest of that part of the city. The Ptolemaic dynasty lasted for 275 years, from 305 to 30 BC, and was the last dynasty of ancient Egypt. The architecture and material contents of the tomb alone would keep historians busy for decades and provide unprecedented amounts of information about the Ptolemaic royal cult and the fusion of Macedonian and Egyptian culture. But if Cleopatra's remains were there too, they could tell us a great deal more, including the cause of her death, her physical appearance, and even answer the thorny question of her race. But should we be hoping to find Cleopatra's remains and to analyze them? From Tutankhamun to the ordinary ancient Egyptians whose mummies have been excavated over the centuries, there has been a long history of mismanagement and mistreatment. While the days when mummies were unwrapped as a form of entertainment at Victorian dinner parties have thankfully passed, concerns are increasingly being raised by those who work in heritage about the appropriate treatment of our ancestors. While the discovery of Cleopatra's tomb would be priceless for Egyptologists and other scholars, is it fair to deny the queen the opportunity for peace and privacy and death that she did not receive in life? Cleopatra was a fascinating historical figure known for her intelligence, beauty, and political savvy. Here are some interesting facts about her. Cleopatra was not actually Egyptian, but Greek. She was descended from one of Alexander the Great's generals who had conquered Egypt several centuries earlier. Despite not being Egyptian, Cleopatra was the only ruler of the Ptolemaic dynasty who bothered to learn the Egyptian language. She was also fluent in several other languages, including Greek and Latin. Cleopatra was known for her beauty and she used it to her advantage in her political dealings. She was said to have been very charismatic and persuasive. Cleopatra had a relationship with both Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, two of the most powerful men in Rome at the time. She had children with both men. Cleopatra was a very shrewd political operator and was able to maintain her position as queen through a combination of military alliances, strategic marriages, and cunning diplomacy. Cleopatra was also known for her love of luxury and extravagance. She was said to have thrown lavish parties and had a collection of rare and exotic animals, including elephants and lions. Cleopatra was the last ruler of the Ptolemaic dynasty and the last pharaoh of Egypt. She died at the age of 39, either by suicide or murder. What do you think of this video and the mysteries behind Cleopatra? Please let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you wish to be updated about more history viral videos, you should consider to subscribing to our channel and pressing the bell icon so we can make more videos for you. For seeing more videos about ancient Egypt, please watch our playlist for more interesting videos about Egypt. Also, thank you for watching the videos and we will see you in the next video.